and the Prime Minister of Canada. father would come home after teaching at school to put us in the car and load us up to head off to the Calgary Stampede for cotton candy, rides, rodeo. Some of my best memories were when I had one of my first jobs picking up garbage at the Stampede and putting it in the dumpster. That was my whole job for 10 days straight. And now we have to actually clean house on Parliament Hill and in Ottawa as well, right? a big mess to clean up that's for sure but we'll get to that in a moment you know as Anna pointed out uh, my roots are here in Calgary Alberta born and raised in the south end of town I was born to a 16 year old mother who put me up to adoption for to two school teachers but they taught me that in Canada it didn't matter where you came from it mattered where you were going it didn't matter who you knew it mattered what you could do that's the country that my wife came to as a refugee it's the country we want for our kids and yours it's the country that we are going to bring home for all canadians when we form government but after eight years of trudeau that's not the country we see life costs more work doesn't pay housing costs have doubled crime chaos drugs and disorder are common in our streets and our freedom is under attack with a prime minister who divides to distract from all that he's done wrong but ladies and gentlemen we're going to turn the hope that he has caused we're going to turn the hurt that he has caused or the hope that canadians need we're going to rely on the common sense of the common people we'll bring home lower prices by axing the carbon tax yeah. We will bring home powerful paychecks with lower income tax that reward hard work. And speaking of powerful paychecks, we're going to bring home our oil and gas and resource sector back to this country again. We'll repeal the no new pipelines law that Justin Trudeau passed. We'll stop importing overseas dictator oil. We'll mine the resources in this, can, can, this part of the country. We'll liquefy the natural gas. We'll turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people in this country again. We're going to remove the government gatekeepers that block our brilliant immigrants from working as doctors with a national blue t seal testing exam immigrant professionals will be able to prove their qualifications within 60 days and get to work earning big paychecks serving our patients and building our country and we even arranged a big flyover here today so <laughs> we're going to bring homes you can afford by incentivizing the cities to remove the government gatekeepers so that we can build 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 that our young people can build have a home and start a family in safe communities we're going to get rid of Trudeau's catch and release policy that has turned loose criminals on our street. We will bring in jail and not bail. Jail and not bail for repeat violent offenders. And we'll stop targeting our law-abiding firearms owners. Go after the real criminals instead. And finally, we're going to bring home our freedom again, aren't we? Freedom has been under attack. Censorship laws. We see government bills now cause news stories to disappear from you don't expect to see it in Canada. We see people like you're going to repeal Trudeau's censorship laws. We're going to re require universities that get federal funds to honor academic freedom because we know that freedom of expression, free we're going to make this the freest country on earth again, aren't we? <laughs> into rebuilding our armed forces, those who protect our freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We're going to rely on the same common sense that brought the pioneers over the, the prairies to settle this land so many years ago. The common sense of the common people united for our common home, your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. <laughs> The Premier of Alberta will also be showing up very soon, so please stick around, have some pancakes, meet our next Prime Minister and my amazing colleagues standing behind us that are fighting, that are fighting every single day for you all in Ottawa. Thank you once again, Calgary. Oh my god.